everybody, I am doing a comparison between two Balenciaga bags I did purchase recently. One is fake and one is authentic and hopefully this video will help you guys authenticate it. Um, I did pay for a third party authentication on top of Vestier Collective authenticating the actual bag when you do make a purchase. Um, if you've never purchased from Vestier, that's how they kind of do it. But anyways, this one... Well, I'm, I don't know if you guys already can tell which one's authentic or not, but let's get into it. So the authentication site that I used is called Legit Grails. Um, if you guys just Google them, they have a 30 minute, 2 hour, 4 hour, I think, and then 24 hour and 48 hour um, times. So you guys, obviously the quicker, the more expensive. I did pay for the quicker, the 30 minute one because... I'm just that person. I just want to know right away. Um, so, revealing the fake. So, this is what they said on their report. The text formatting on the item does not match our database. The main problem is that the wrong fonts, font weights, spacing are used, the logo and other identified text do not check out. This particularly, This is particularly noticeable in the brand tag. Um, this one, because it's the extra small, it doesn't have, like, the, because usually Balenciaga has, like, a date code of some sort somewhere in the bag. This one does not have it, and I should have known that. I didn't really notice until I received my actual authentic one, and when I opened the zipper, it did have that inside the zipper, but just going over this one really quick. Let me empty this one out. Like I said, this one is the authentic, and this is the size small, in the same color, and the same brass gold hardware. How am I going to do this? Oh, let's do it like this. So they said that the logo, the font, is wrong. Let me see if I can show you guys. So the top is the authentic. In the bottom is the fake. Not sure how the lighting is picking it up, but this one is definitely heavier embossed and the lines are thicker versus this one is lighter, more delicate, and there's better spacing on the authentic one. Also, it's like I said, a lighter green. And then also the, like, I don't know what this is, but the outlining of the B. This one is a lighter outline, and this one is heavier, as you guys can see. And then another thing that I did notice after obviously getting an authentic one is the handles. This handle is more sturdy and substantial. And this one is just, you can kind of see it already. It's like floppy, it's lopsided, it's not really as sturdy. And then also the color. Even though it's a slight difference, the color, this is more, this is lighter, and this is more of a truer orange. And then also, they did mention that the embossing was also a giveaway so you can see that the sides right here are more of a delicate embossing versus this one is bigger and then the center has more of those cubes and this just it just feels not authentic either and this would be my first mock croc of any designer house so i didn't really have anything to compare it with but now that i'm comparing both I can tell the difference. Another thing is the rivets right here. Let me just unclasp it. It does say Balenciaga on the fake, but on the authentic, the lettering is also noticeable. Let's see if you guys can. So now he looks good to blow up. 
I know it's kind of difficult to see, but the light, the writing of the Balenciaga on the top is the authentic, and then the bottom is the fake. And you guys can see how much heavier that writing is compared to this one up here. Okay. And then also the tone of the brass, the authentic is more of a yellow and this is more of like a, a darker, very much antique gold. I don't know if that was on purpose or, I mean, without seeing side by side and if you're just seeing it down the street, walking, whatever, um, you probably would not notice a difference. Uh, what else? I mean, like I said, I, I could just, because I have both, I can see how the difference, oh, they did mention the stitching, the stitching, ugh, I just cut my hair and I don't like how these ends tend to sometimes like flip out, ugh, the struggle. The stitching was also, they said was a giveaway. Um, I guess you can tell which like which machinery is doing which. Let's focus this. So on the authentic stitching, it has more of a slant to it. And then this fake one is more of a straight, just going straight down stitching. As far as shine goes, I feel like they're pretty even in that regard. Um, also, the glazing. The authentic glazing matches the color better. It's more of a seamless glazing versus this one. You can see that it's much lighter than the actual bag. And this glazing is already coming off. Yeah, it's like cracked in some spaces. The authentic one. Um, this one was purchased. Let's see. Because I have the. Come on, focus. I still have the original. It was bought August. 28th 2021 so it's almost a year and it was retailed for 1650 UK price come on I don't know why it's not focusing but yeah it's 1650 UK price Selfridges um, mock croc shiny embossed orange top handle and it is currently still available in stores but the reason why I went resale is because the ones that are currently in stock in all the big house resellers like Neiman Marcus um, matches fashion farfetch all of that they're all in the silver so even though they're in the gold color they're in silver hardware and if you know me I'm not really a silver person um, I did consider it if I really couldn't find it because I just love this orange. If you guys know, I love orange. I wish I could get an orange from Hermes, but this is the closest I can get, I guess, because my store doesn't really have colors. They more so, excuse me, they more so have um, the neutrals. Those are more attainable colors, and I have my neutrals already, so I'm like, I want color now. I know, I know. Anyways, I love it. I love the gussets right here. It fits decent, a decent amount. Um, this one though, I wish I wish it was in the extra small size. I do prefer the size better. It's about seven and a half inches versus this one is nine inches, and you know, two almost two inches difference in size. Not really that noticeable when you're carrying it on. But I feel like this extra small lays better on me um, because this is a wider 
it's more of a deeper bag it just kind of protrudes out a little i don't know maybe also i'm a little on the heavier side so my gut sticks out a little bit more <laughs> so if you're on the petite side the small would be the perfect size perfect every day i feel day to night transition would be really good but yeah i'm more of a mini person so i i really did like this too bad it's fake i am returning it because who wants i don't want this and i did purchase this on ebay so i have 100 percent buyer protection this one is from um like i said bestia collective if you're on the market for this there's not a lot of gold hardware with the orange color but there is plenty on the resale market all right i hope you guys found this video helpful i'm sorry i don't know anymore i could go i can post pictures or something if you guys have any questions let me know and i'll link my instagram handle please follow me and please subscribe i'll see you next time bye for reference i'm 411 size 14 12 ish depending on the day i do like it a little higher but you guys see what i mean like this i just feel like this sits better on me but Here's what they look like. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> they can both fit in the crook and like right here. <laughs> Say bye. Bye. <laughs>